I'm thinking about it. Maybe, baby. Okay. Button is depressed. Did I answer to open the Moobot? Uh, yeah, okay, good point. I didn't do that either. Good catch. New version, again. I think they're stuck in a loop. All right, Moobot's now open. <laughs> Only four? All right, quiet on the set. Quiet on the set. You're listening to WRFB Radio Free Britannia. Coming to you live from Deltona, Florida. With two idiots misinterpreting the news so you don't have to. Lunch with Laz and Jack. Everybody, this is Laz. Oh, and Jack's on the telephone. He wasn't on the telephone just a moment ago. But uh, he'll be with us in just a moment, I guess, because this was a last-minute telephone call. So, I'm Laz. That's Jack. There he is. Is uh, no, 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 no. Can't hear you. Can't hear you. You're muted. Uh, and I'm Jack. Welcome to another glorious <laughs> edition of Lunch with Laz and Jack, where we interpret the Shroud of the Avatar news so you don't have to do anything other than question your own personal life choices and ours. Because they deserve to be questioned. That's right. Oh, man. Yes. And uh, pound the bootay in my, my channel. And uh, yes, Stymie. Pounded the Exclamation, bootay. I love free shit on my channel. Uh, and uh, then also, exclamation mark bundle me on both streams. That's right. Get in on all the goody giveaways. And Stymie says two days off, three for, three for Thursday. I don't know. Can we do that today? Maybe. Maybe I don't know. We could. I we could. We could. The question I mean, is, are we? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't you know. would need more than three people to get in on these giveaways. Yeah, yeah. I know. I know. We ruined Stymie's vacation week because. Uh, yeah. Yeah. He he enjoys listening. He rushes home from work on the days he gets out just to get here in time. But uh, and I appreciate it. We both appreciate it. But. Uh, yeah, some things just couldn't be helped, of course. Uh, 
for those of you who've been paying attention, uh, had to go in and do some work at the offices, and uh, it ran into some overtime because pulling cable and laying cable and running cable, the security systems can be quite tedious. But Manuel labor. That's right. At least it pays well. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> yes. Welcome to today's show, boys and girls. It is Thursday, <laughs> July 11th, 2024, here and, inside and outside. And, and th- thankfully, we, we weren't around for my, my seven-hour-long uh, internet outage. Yeah. <laughs> or was it eight hours? I, I It was a good break from uh, life. I started using uh, my phone as a hotspot and watching... Uh, <laughs> To shows on my projector. I, I don't know there, uh, Andrew. You know, again, laying, laying cable is a little different than laying pipe, baby. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fish! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Winfield. Uh, Holy shit. Yes, yes. The, the statewide outage of Spectrum where they blamed uh, a third party in Houston for something. And it's like... Somebody's man, up to I, almost 77,000 like, gold for 10, 10 bank slots. Holy shit. Somebody spent yeah. a lot of money on bank slots. Yeah. Uh, Winfield connected his router to backup Verizon during the, the, the uh, Spectrum outage. I was just using my phone as a hotspot and in streaming stuff. Yeah, well, uh, backup spectrum Verizon means you have two internet connections. Then, are you uh, a friend of Tina's? If Tina's watching, oh no, Tina's th- it's Thursday. Tina's probably in a meeting right now. But, it could have uh, been a a hotspot. I don't know. He doesn't I say that. Continue- uh, I, I could figured, have yeah. continued working. Verizon's uh, in his uh, RV. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. He's got one in the yeah, RV it's... and one in the... Uh... Yeah, that, that's that's where that uh, old uh, satellite would, would come in real yeah, handy. It's... Get yourself some Starlink out there in Texas. And no... I'm, yeah. I'm going to try not to throw any money towards Elon Musk <laughs> at all. Yes. The RV is also his backup generator. I, that makes sense. I that do have a sense. generator in the garage, but it's only 3,100 watts. Yeah, we had one put in. You all know that story. I have one put yes. in there, and then I've got UPSs and all that good stuff in the house, so... Uh, Don't worry about I've it. I've got what? I've got three active UPSs, and one with a battery that needs to be replaced. But yes, internet outages suck, especially when they're almost statewide taking you out. But yes. let's uh, yeah, get absolutely. on with the exciting stuff. Oh, uh, we have exciting stuff. Oh well, you know, as exciting as ever. Like problems with fireworks. Not really a problem, just somebody doesn't understand, apparently. But we're here to set you straight. Okay. <laughs> UPS comes to my house all the time. <laughs> yeah, you ready for the Shroud Month related to th- random things? Sure. Okay, well, I want to talk about some fireworks boxes. Fireworks! Problems because with fireworks. With fireworks by Shipwreck. And wants to know how many times... Oh, did I never change the damn thing? How many times can I retrieve fireworks from the replenishing fireboxes? It seems I can only do it once at certain months. Before I used to get more, now hardly anything. Thank you. Um... They replenish in the months of January, February, March, July, November, and December. Which means that this is a month where you should break out all those firework boxes. 
Yeah, so that way you too can yeah. end up with tens of thousands of fireworks that hardly ever uh, ever get used. That's the wrong one. Yeah, it's just the one. Those snowball boxes, but yes, yeah, so I've got a bunch of boxes yeah, but... right behind me that uh, I need to break out and. Uh... Well, I need. Hold on, here, here, here. I should, I should get the really important ones. The only ones that really matter. Which ones? The obsidian potions of guidance. Oh, I got those the other day. Yeah, I got my yeah. Green, green potions. My carnival cycling oh, die. My aethers. Yeah, these, I, these are uh, not the uh, green potions. Yeah. Yours, the yours are all obsidian potions of guidance. All those boxes back there. There they are. You got five of those bad boys. I've only got two left. I got rid of a bunch of them. I got rid of a bunch of them. But yes, if you're wondering about fireworks, and I didn't realize they, they were three months early in the year myself. I always thought it was a couple months in the middle of the year, which again... This is something that I need to put in my list of things to remember. So, yes, January, February, March, July, November, and December are the months. But, uh, you know, why? Why didn't we just make them every single month? That's the big question. Why, why aren't they like every other replenishing box? Well, except um, snowballs. Well, because we don't celebrate real-world uh, holidays mm -hmm. in Shroud of the Avatar until we do. Well, I'm sure, like Florida, <laughs> they sell fireworks year-round in Texas, don't they? Um, no. No? See, we, we have not. we have fireworks not sold year-round year here in Florida. I mean, we've got well, li li literally Florida fireworks stores. No land. Yeah, we, we've got fireworks manufacturing stores, like, everywhere here in Florida. I mean, you can't go nowhere without seeing... A billboard well, for fireworks I'm, or a store for fireworks, not just I'm tents. Not we the, have we have brick and mortar stores. Yeah, I, I I I live a few miles from a one of those brick and mortar stores, but they're only open during certain parts of the year. Ah, oh, see, no, ours are open year round. Yeah. yeah, and most of the year you can get two for one, which is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. But yes. uh, there there is there is there is a little. Uh, Pitch to that. You have to sign a waiver when you buy your oh, that fireworks. You're not, that you're not going to put the fireworks on top of your head and light them? No, no. Well, see, down here they sell fireworks for agricultural use. Yeah. So, you know, to, <laughs> to, 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 to scare off deer from your crops or birds from your crops or, you know, other things, you know, so, so that... <laughs> Yeah, that, that that's the excuse you have. So. Agriculture. Yeah. Here, here's my Roman candle war agricultural yeah. use. Here's, here's my Roman candles from my tomato and strawberry fields. Yeah, we're gonna be yeah popping those off. Yeah. Yeah, my my uh, three, my three hundred shot salute to the USA that you know goes up. Yeah, you know, my aerial bombs that you know make big loud booms. Mm -hmm pinwheels yeah. and all sorts of other stuff that would probably set my crops on fire. But yes. Yes. Yes, we, we just yeah. we we just said that, that Winfield. But of course yes, the person uh, sh shipwreck here uh, apparently may not know about SodaWiki that uh, you can go to sodawiki.net. You can actually in the game type slash soda wiki space Unless and then and then your query your doesn't launch a browser well that's only because of all the screwed up permissions that you've pruned on your shit hey, so, hey, i yeah, don't know what that, you, why, that, that, why, that, why that, you that's, would call that's, them screwed up that, that's your own fault you know that you block all that crap you know yeah Some, somebody's got to break out his aluminum foil hat once in a while where is that thing I saw a great meme the other day. Is uh, you know, free hat in every box with a picture of aluminum foil. Yeah. 
Yeah, you'd be surprised uh, there, Winfield. You'd be surprised how many people don't know about SodaWiki. Then, of course, there was the other guy who wanted to make a brand new SodaWiki in a different language, when I don't see why. You can just translate what you need. Yeah, I don't think that went anywhere. I see that. I see our wonderful network code is doing really great. As uh, let's show Jack where he's sitting. You, you mean I'm the one sitting like on on top of like the ropes or something like that? Oh, you're way behind the ropes. Yeah. Oh man, man. yeah. It's like <laughs> you're you're the, you're, the, you're, you're the, sitting you way behind to... the ropes. Yeah. As our network we need code. to improve the network code and the locations. I mean, this, this shit should not be hard and because it affects combat as well. I mean, do you remember that day where we did that test where it's like, uh, oh, actually, actually, what you should do is send me a duel. <laughs> well, you'd have to stand up and that'll probably fix it. Well, damn it. Did it fix it? No, you're still back there. Okay. Send me a duel, and you go back there. And I, I need to get my dog off of you. Get get back here. Get back here. Oh, yeah, well. Back yeah. Here. My, my, my dog should be off of you. <laughs> Otherwise, he will butcher you. My dog is now, my, my dog is now passive. So yeah, you, you put, should go you, over you, to you, where you. I'm at and try to punch me. You are not standing in what the fuck this is where you were standing <laughs> this is where you are standing on my screen yeah. you are standing behind the boxes you haven't even jumped over the rope yet you are not within meters you should not be able to punch me at all Let's this see. is shroud math at its finest. Yeah, this is shroud math. This, this is you see me punching Jack there, and this is what Jack sees on his screen, which is me yeah. all, all the way over there, and I'm I'm actually hitting him uh, from where I am. Yes, it's uh, the wonderful network code that allows me to punch Jack when he's not even actually here because he's actually by his seat. Well, over, yeah. It, Send me the screenshot of where you are standing on your screen. Yep, here it is. This is what I this, this is where I am right now, according to my network code. Standing right behind you on the ropes. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it's like <laughs> nowhere near. Yeah. Actual locations. <laughs> so if your character is behind the ropes, my character's still at my chair. How the fuck are you hitting me? Because you're not by your chair, according to me. <laughs> <clears throat> this is a problem with combat in Shroud. Uh, now I jumped yeah. over the fence. Okay. Uh, now go go run someplace so that you come back to normal because you just sat right back down over there. Okay. There you go. Now, now now you're back to normal. There you are. <laughs> there you are. Yeah. But yes, that wonderful, magnificent network code that we have in Shroud of the Avatar. Gotta love it. Yes. Gotta love it. That's a feature. Yep. I don't know. I'm sure you can come over and punch Jack if you want. He may not like it, but his dog, uh, yeah. His, pu his puppy may not like you too much for doing that. His puppy took a couple big chunks out of my rear before I even had a chance to do anything else. That's what happened to me. We got Tyrion was out there on the uh, lot. <laughs> yeah. Was not paying attention. Never even got a chance to change into armor to attack either, which was uh, no fun. Anyway. Oh. Well, I, I could always put my, cat, my dog in 
aggro mode and then then the fight will be over universe chat yes Danzig says as soon as Rav started saying balance I went into freaking Whoops. convulsions hey what is that passive <laughs> two hits <laughs> oh yeah you you never you never canceled the fucking <laughs> I sat down <laughs> bastard <laughs> hey man, I, I have to make sure that I'm a top top ten PvP or in Yeah, yeah you, you get Avatar. PvP points for that? I bet you do. <laughs> Fuck yeah, I do. <laughs> now, if we check check the leaderboards, uh you, you already see that I'm already in the top something for the last 30 days. <laughs> Whoops, not vendor listing in zones. Leaderboards. Hey, new player. PvP so. <clears throat> last 30 days. Where where am I at? Uh, number 18. So I'm going to be jumping to the top 11 for the last 30 days with two kills. About the last seven days. <laughs> oh, last seven days. I haven't had a kill. Okay. Yeah, and a lot of these are are people that get the death bug on the airship as to why they've got kills in the last seven days. Because, hey, death bug and party bug, not worth fixing. Well, it's worth fixing, just ain't got nobody. Oh, oh, yeah. So... You ready to be breaking someone's immersion real quick? What are we going to break some immersion with? What topic are we going to go to next? Cleanliness is next to godliness. Because Devin Arcane wants a more sanitary butcher station. What? Any chance of the alternate art for the butcher station that doesn't look like it's going to give you several foodborne illnesses? Even if it was just cleaner. What is he talking about? And, and Conjurer, this isn't Earth, man. Uh, you, you need to go look at your butcher station? Well, that's, I figure we'd go take a look at it since, you know, he's bringing okay. it up. Yeah. I mean, yeah. My, my, mine is well used. Hold on, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna take care of that that fun bug that we we saw the other day. Oh, did, it's not sticking through the wall today. Oh yes, yes it is. Where was it? Where was it? Da, 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 da. Mm. Fine, open the door. And it's not even that bad. And it looks like, uh, yeah. Although I don't know if I'd be actually hanging my stakes like that over uh, a piece of wood. Hey. Yep. Yeah, or, or or leaving a hog's head in a bucket of. Uh, never really noticed that bucket. <laughs> you, you mean the one with entrails in it? Yeah. The, Bucket with the pig's head and the entrails. You know, the one on the floor yeah. makes sense to get scraps and stuff. I mean, the, that, the that blood, one makes the blood sense. bucket. Yeah. Well, that that would be the blood bucket because there should be a hole over here inside of this thing, so that way they can bleed out everything. And then this would be the entrails bucket. But, but yeah. So conjure with the fun answer. Well, before industrial butchering and freezing, and in some parts of the world still, butchering did look like that, and due to meat being scarce on the table for, of most people. All possible parts of animal were used for food, where nowadays things like chicken feet are mostly exported, as few people will buy them here. So body parts of animals on the butchering table are simply historical, and not half as bad as the real world and smell back then in time. Conjurer, this isn't the real world, man. Yeah, and, and 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 what world do you live in where chicken feet aren't you know used here in the United States? I mean, 
I, I know plenty of people who eat chicken feet. I mean, I'm not one of them, but, uh, you know. Uh, yeah, you are. No. I'm not. Oh, now I need, now I need. Okay. Nope, that's hey. stay. That, that, eh, that's aggro. Yeah, you're, you're back behind the ropes again. I back am not. I ropes. am sitting in the chair. <laughs> I'm sitting in the chair. Not, not, not according to me, you're not. That network code's working really great today, I tell you what, as you're sitting back there. Shroud of the hair will we'll stand up, move back and forth, yeah. sit back down just for you. There you go. Am I seated now? Yes, you are. Now you're seated properly. Is the Lord British stream still on for tomorrow at 4 p.m.? We don't know. As far as we understand... Maybe. But that's a topic for tomorrow. Yeah. That's a topic for tomorrow. Uh-oh. Yep. A Maynard <clears throat> kicking us off with 500 bits. Ooh, Thank you, Maynard. Yeah. And oh. I think, I think you, you know what that means. It means that we're maybe playing marbles? Oh, Maynard's almost always playing marbles. Right, Maynard? Which means he we said, get to he, launch he, he marbles. He says right. Because I'm waiting for it to come oh, up. Yes. There it is. It is launching. Do you have a preference, Maynard? Or should we just go with random, random races? Rando, okay, you're gonna hit click it a couple times. One, two, three, four, five times. Speedrun original. Okay, race. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, okay. We've got the lucky few loading up on my side. Oops, I got the wrong window. There it is. Okay. Did did I get my play on a, on your side? Um, you are in on my side. I am in excellent. on your side. So are you ready for three, two, one? Start. Sixty nine seconds to get in on the action. Yes. And boy, this is a funky, funky color. Lime or neon green track. Yes. Very, uh, very neon track? green. <laughs> and Maynard, Maynard's like, Maynard ejected. <laughs> hey, you never know. You might want just win the game key. You know, don't know, don't know how yeah, that's going to work. And Maynard in for the victory. What are we doing? Hey, Hegpets is back. Hello. Hegpets, good to see you. 15 seconds. Yes. As we get ready to roll them, nine players in. As we're going to get the rim, the green hole. Alrighty, here we go. Good luck to everybody. Oh man, and we got yeah, obstacles. We are... Andrew is dropping down. Winfield Paxlayer. Oh, coming. Drops here. through and gets ejected right out the gate. Oh, but the Maynard out in front. The first one actually onto the track is the Savage Furry. And uh, I would like to say that I do support the uh, the gay furries out there. The gay furry hackers. Okay. Damn, good job, gay furry hackers. What about the hairless? 
If you don't know about the gay furry hackers, lads, you are missing out. I have no idea. Andrew ejected. Lomir ejected. Go! I thought all the furries were gay, oh, personally, man. but that's beside the point. That, no, what, 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 about the, what, what about the hairless? Uh, and in in is, for the win, yeah. right in front of the Maynard, who did not get ejected. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, Hegpets is like, the furries hacked that heritage. No idea. Go Google uh, gay, gay furry, furry hackers. hackers. <laughs> yes. Alrighty. But there we go. And we will be doing a game key giveaway thanks to the Maynard. So let's close out that giveaway and we'll be also doing uh, me. the other He's giveaway. In the hamster ball. Lomir um, E. Dane, who's probably going to Oh I got some bad news. I was ejected. On the game key. But I'll tell you what the game key is, Lomir, so you can tell us whether you want it or you want to pass it on. And it is Pets Hotel. Pets Hotel. Uh, hey, and on my side, the Savage Furry was victorious. So I get to open up that trade window and hand some scrolls to the victor. The savage really? Furry. That, that, that's a strange one. Uh, what is I don't. It? I don't think this has ever happened before. What? Pets, Pets Hotel is a free-to-play game. Why? <laughs> why am I paying for free-to-play game keys? What? What the fuck I, is I this? I, it, was it like Shroud that where they uh, changed their? Uh, I have no idea. Their, their business model and went free-to-play. Release I, I date know. was in. January of last year, they they, they have no. a they, they have a free a pets hotel prologue which is free, but they ha also have a pets hotel ah okay seventeen ninety nine yeah let me see that that's what I hit hold on you're right uh, you are right thank you Laz right. looked up the wrong game uh yeah it just came up that way uh pets hotel is 1799 yes it is so do you want it or should i pick somebody else lomir i'll pass it on he's gonna pass it on and we're gonna pick somebody else and it's gonna go to long live the stymie long live the stymie Great. the stymie you're welcome and thank you for taking a look at that. That didn't make any sense to me, but thank you, Lomir, for your assistance on that. As we oh, wow. reset the giveaways. And it is time to close a streamer bundle. Yes, it is. Are we going to do a multiples, or are we going to just... I uh, have pulled one so far, and that went to my nerd. How do you say we do two Would today like and two tomorrow on each uh, one? Okay, okay. Just, and Lomir, because we can open up a, a trade window with me. All right. So, really because we were not here for two days, we're going to double up today and tomorrow. So, Maybe. our first winner, Andrew if we, if, Night if Owl. Remember. Yeah. And second winner is Night Rider. Thank you. Both Laz and myself have CRS. Yeah, right. Absolutely. And, and and that is can't remember shit. Somebody will remind us. Uh, yeah, someone will do something. There's yes. Andrew, and then one for Knight Rider. Yes. And, and, and hey, Laz, my sister-in-law wants me to apply for a job that pays $50,000 more annually than my, what I currently make. Well, why not? I know. I'm going to do it. Well, I mean, unless it's a bigger headache, then of course, you know. Are you still going to be able to work from home? Yes. Okay, well, then there you go. Yeah. I might have to do some occasional travel, but eh, no big deal. I've never, been to, a I've never been to occasional before. All right, never giveaways been to occasion. reopen. They're fun. 
as we get ready to head into the next horrible topic. Uh, pick one. Oh. Are we going to? How about some something s- one-handed? Uh, or, the one-handed we, we could do. S- I want to talk about those servant decoration pets first because this one is okay. ir- irking me. Hold, hold on, I, I got the servant decoration pets no longer converse, according to Owsley. Uh The servant <sighs> decoration pets were given as founding pledge rewards no longer produce a conversation or bark dialogue. Clicking on them no longer generates a conversation since they no longer do anything. It would be nice if you could convert these to conversations that we could program with Inky. So they've been good. uh, Alley Oops, like, we'll look at making them Inkies. Yes, with the with the Jira. I hope the Jira is to actually fix the NPCs to the way that the pledge reward was pledged, and then think about doing what you did with the automatrons and making them so that they can be reskinned to conversationalists. Actually, can uh, they were just made conversationalists, weren't they? Yeah, the the automatons were just made conversationalists. Well, that and you could actually uh, pull a pattern off them and make them. Uh, vendors as well because yeah. I have I have one that's a vendor, which I think you can already do with the uh, um, servants. You because you know, I already have one of them too that I've taken and reskinned to a vendor. Uh, he might actually even be an owl's head. As a matter of fact, I think he is. Remember, we've got an automaton on the lot. Walking around somewhere. That is a conversationalist, right? Yes. Yeah. Where is that automaton? Where'd he go? <laughs> where Where did he go? <laughs> oh, there he is. Where he's is go- he? Uh, he's he's wow. along he's along the wall right by you yeah, there. But but he wasn't there a second I don't think ago. He was there. I think he was. He think walked he through the randomly wall. Randomly teleported. He he yeah. walked through the wall. He was on the other side of the wall, and he walked through the wall because okay. he can do that. Yes. Yeah. So the conversationalists have magic powers. Yeah, yeah. all kinds Vendors, of things in the in Shroud of the Avatar. Conversationalists, uh, magic powers, cats, dogs, M- NBCs uh, yeah, in no, general, mobs, mobs, mobs that can shoot through through solid walls. Yes. Yeah. All, all that fun stuff. Yeah. But like, uh, you're like, where am I getting hit from? I'm behind a fucking door. Let's talk about that the... one-handed weapon. Okay, because uh, he's old. Is that one? Has a question about uh, one-handed range weapons. Where is that? I, I would I love. Hold on, I gotta I find it. It starts off with one. Yeah, for some reason, I don't have it. Even though I'm the Did one who you gave it to you. I must have yeah. somehow, which would you like I, me to put post the link in chat for you? No, I've got <laughs> I've got it right here. Come on, I posted it earlier. Crying out loud. <laughs> All right, let's get over here. Okay. Okay. Is old would love a one handed ranged weapon. Slingshot, for instance, that will make the combination ranged shield or ranged wand, for instance, possible. Now, last, I know it's been a while since I've used a slingshot. Uh, yeah, I have the same concern that you with, do. With, since... with a slingshot, how do you pull the band back without using I, I, your other hand. I I don't think that that's the slingshot he's talking about. I think he's talking about the David and Goliath swing, slingshot. Which still oh, requires sling. <clears throat> which, which still requires two hands because you need to load it with the second hand before you but, sling it around. But at the yeah. same time you could <clears throat> you could still have a shield on there. So it's not a slingshot, a sling. Now, I I would say the first weapon that came to mind was hand crossbows. Because uh, uh, for, first Baldur's one Gate the, three, the, yes. first one that came to, to mind for me was Pew Pew, 
uh, you know, we've been asking for. We've got the, you know, Cobalt, uh, you know, cannons and uh, the rifles in game that are just non-functional. So if they were able to make those, and why were those never made functional? That's the big question. We put them in the game. We made them deco. We built them. We got graphics for them, but we never made them fucking functional. Yet we have a rectangle right in the middle of your screen. Well, I mean, the, not to mention the uh, even in Chris's new game, he includes reticle. He loves reticles. Reticles, I know. Um, yes. Yes. Van Torian is like, there aren't many truly one-handed ranged weapons. A slingshot would be difficult to load with one hand, even if it can be used one-handed after loading. Sling. Sling. Not slingshot. Um, while reading your post, I thought back to the magic axe in Ultima 6, which flew to the target and then back to the wielder's hand, thinking that it might not fit so well with soda. Thor's hammer. Yes. Throwing daggers, throwing axes, throwing whatever. Um, this is in air. I mean, there are all kinds of things with magic. Darts, stars. Uh, darts, darts, star. Yeah, yes, throwing stars. Um, could throw the cow traps. Yeah. We have those. Yes. So. Oh, yeah. yeah. Throw, throw, <laughs> throw, your, throw your poo. Oh. Throwing poo. Oh, keep yes. reading, because I, I like this one. We, we see this one in a lot of different other games. But keep reading. Simple missiles like darts, throwing knives, grenades might be an option. Grenade! Or on the lines of the magic axe idea, maybe a boomerang or Lucy Lawless's deadly frisbee. Lucy boomerang. Lawless equals Xena, the warrior princess, for those who don't know the reference. She had a flat silver ring tucked to her side and used it like Captain America's shield in the TV series. <clears throat> a cobalt pistol would be one-handed. A, a Captain America TV series? Yes. There's the crossbow. It just doesn't need to be loaded. It just fires. It would be nice if have different arrows made from different metals, but that might nerf the crossbow stocks made from different materials. Metals. In reality, oh, any crossbow real. I've seen that needs to be loaded with two hands, you can fire with one, but it's still a two-handed weapon. Hand Par crossbows. Apparently you haven't seen the automatic crossbow, Adam Crow. Yes. <laughs> Apparently you haven't seen the automatic crossbow. The, the auto crossbow, <laughs> yes. Oh, he, he mentions that. Bolts. Okay, yeah, okay. Keep going. Sorry, wait. I jumped ahead. I didn't realize okay. he said that. Obviously, this is game might be some sort of auto crossbow might work, but if you're going to be using a shield, there has to be some sort of negative of power or speed or fire ranged with ranged one-handed weapon. Uh, yeah, and, but that would be Shroud Math, and we know how well our dev team is r related to certain things, like a crossbow shooting faster than a bow. Whoops. Further, longer, harder. <laughs> Further, longer, harder. Which which is reality <clears throat> here in Shroud, by the way, it, just if you didn't know that. It's Shroud Math, yes. Yeah. Crossbow shoot longer and further and harder than bows. <laughs> and faster. Yeah, which I never understood, especially with the auto fire. <laughs> Shroud math. There have been lots of variants of crossbows. Historical yeah, small Adam's and handed, meeting. In one handed crossbows usually lack any rage and penetration power and are only for self-defense in closer ranges as a one-shot before going to melee or running in Italian cities where people usually did not run around armored, a.k.a. the assassin weapon. Yeah. Do you know when Con 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 let, let me just say this, dude. Stop <laughs> looking up historical references. This is a friggin' video game, okay? Video game. Fantasy. <laughs> Work with us, please. No, I, 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 you got to give them this. Mean, what do you mean it's a fantasy? I, 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 I mortgaged my house for this thing. Yeah, right. 
Well, some people almost did. That's that's almost a reality. <laughs> Tina says one plus one equals three. Shot math. Three. Yes. Genuine crosswoman used to used to carry a pavise. I don't know how to pronounce that. A large wooden shield, large enough to hide behind, kneeling in the time it took to reload the crossbow. However, they did not carry crossbow and shield in one hand each. What? Reloading a heavy crossbow can be an ordeal, so often your hands are not enough, and you use a crank wheel to make it ready for the next shot. That is why it's so silly in-game that any crossbow can match the firing speed of any kind of bow. I'll we'll give you that one. Yes. Shroud math. Shroud math as far as design goes. I don't think using realism is a proper argument given the game has magic and many mystical things that aren't realistic, but that is besides the point. All, is, all I'll say is you can have cobalt tech guns and or gun crossbow powered by magic projectiles. So a hybrid between physical weapon and a magic source for feeling the bullets and arrows. You mean like a oh, blaster? Not- like a blaster? Oh, yes. Give me, a, give, me, give me a good blaster by your side, kid. How do they know that's not realistic? That, that, there could be magic in the world that hasn't been, that, you know, people haven't experienced yet. Hey, considering they put the chainsaw sword in in, in Shroud. Yes, absolutely. <clears throat> yeah. The Belladonna, the only thing I could think of would be a bolo. That would be one-handed if I, for one, would love throwing stars or daggers. So the only thing you can think of is a bolo, but then you provide... Two, Two other, other references, options. yes. <laughs> uh, but it's okay, by We're just going to give everybody shit. Three! Yes. yes. It's that number again. <laughs> I can only think of one, but I provide three, ex- <laughs> three, three, three total. <laughs> Shroud Mount, at its finest. That would be a nice ranged weapon that could be one-handed. Even a throwing axe would be nice. Oh, oh, there's you, four. You messed it up, you messed it up with the four. When you loot the mob, you get back your axe back. Um, uh, and Berrigan's like, remember when we had to use bolo arrows for disabling shot? Yes, I do. Wait, so tech cool. all exists for ammo type? Yes, it does, Cora. It, I mean, so if flaming arrows had to be a special type. Uh, disabling shot had to be a special type. Uh, piercing shot had to be special shot type. Yes. Yeah, and um, of it course, didn't do anything good. You had a special type of ammo for each skill. It actually sucked because you had to carry around a fuck ton of arrows. Yeah, well, see, I'm going to stop right there. That's, you know, we, we were doing this almost 30 years ago in Ultima Online, and it worked just fine. If you wanted poison arrows, you had to have a stack of poison arrows. If you wanted the other arrows, you had to have a stack of those arrows. If you there yeah. was like there was like four or five different. Uh, I, did, I forget whether we had exploding arrows, but I believe we had flaming arrows, which was one. Winfield can probably tell us what the arrow types were in. Uh, Ultima, but I, I believe there's at least four different types, and each one. Oh, then there was crossbows, uh, bolts that you had to have for crossbows. They didn't just use regular arrows like we do here in this game. We use the same arrow for a bow and arrow here as we do for a crossbow here in the game, which was uh, a separate item. In you know, so uh, depending on oh gosh, yeah, you know, which and and of course. If you wanted to shoot a poison arrow, you needed a poison uh, bow uh, in order to do that. So you had to carry both a bow and a set of arrows in order to use those, I believe, in Ultim. But but, uh, again, it worked back then. It was, you know, and I don't see why we couldn't. See, I never understood the, you know, poison bow versus, the you know, you fucking dip the arrow in poison, you shoot it off the regular bow. I never understood, you know, what the problem was there. But, yeah, you know, that's, that's just, you know, fantasy, of course. Anyway. Oh, yeah. But, yes, we did have various different, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, uh, ammo types. Crap. I mean, uh, stuff. As well, uh, we also had wands and staves that actually <laughs> shot missiles, magic missile projectiles yes. back in the day, yes. like they pro- they should properly uh, in the well, mystical realms. Yeah, you know. 
Well, I mean, th then from there, I mean, and you you would have to change all kinds of things of how game mechanics actually work to actually yeah. make them make more sense. Yeah, those but, those, those magic wands and, and things, stabs. You could you could shoot a cow out from them if, if you had enough magic. Well, yeah. yeah. I mean, tr truth be told, you just use the same mechanics as the arrows and just yeah, change that visual. That's yeah. Maybe change your shroud math just a slight difference. Yeah. Again, should all all be based on your level of you know major. If you have high major, you do more damage. Low major, low damage. Just like you know, you would expect it. To I do. will. I will say that I love Cora's comment right here. Yeah, Still, it's a start, given that 78% of the game is already repurposed hacks of existing tech. Amen to that, Cora. Amen to that. Yes. You ever hear, about, ever hear of the game Postal? Yes. Of course. Postal 1, Postal 2, Postal 3. Jack and I own the whole series. Postal 4? Is there a third person Postal? I think postal there is. Four. There's a Postal 4. By the way, you could you could shoot a cow from a weapon in that game. Yes. Oh yeah, Postal Four is no regrets. Yeah, no regrets. Three. Yeah. No, no regrets. Yeah. And there's also Postal Brain Damaged. Yeah, which you are after playing the game. Yes. And oh, Postal Four came out in 2022. Yeah, I played that. Yeah. Now it would have, would have been funny if uh well re regrets is also spelled wrong in the name of the game, which which is yeah, also funny. Regrets. Regrets. No, no regrets. regrets. No Post regrets. <laughs> yeah. I I guess they wanted to get away from spelling it as the no re regrets. Yeah. That 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 Awesome tattoo that that got kid got yes. Postal brain damaged. Yes. So there's actually and five there, games. There, there's, there's six games in the postal franchise. Oh, what is the whole franchise? Then let me see. Okay. Postal brain. Uh, brain postal damaged. brain damaged. Uh, postal four. Postal two. Paradise Lost, which is DLC. All right. Paris Postal Redux. Redux. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now we kill it. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, let's see. Postal and, 2 and, and Postal uh, 1. Postal 2 and okay. Postal. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. So actually five different games and then one DLC. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. So where were we? On the uh, same uh, The problem with different ammo types is that you need to have a way to select the type of ammo you want to use. Each skill was how it selected the ammo type, and if you didn't have the special type of ammo, then you couldn't use that skill. That works perfectly fine. Yeah. It grayed out. It's the same thing that happens whenever you don't have a reagent. You've got the skill active or on your bar, but it's grayed out, not usable. Oh. <clears throat> Man, I will say that Cora is having a blast on the forums. <laughs> Have some faith in Band Aid game design. Go, Cora. Go, Cora. Let us know when you're banned from the forums, Cora, because it's a good con Yeah, Conjure, it would be a. The solo bolo of YOLO. <laughs> I would say bolo. Yeah. Solo bolo of YOLO. Um, and Conjure, that sounds as it would actually make sense, doesn't it? I will shoot a fire arrow. Sorry, those are out. No shooting fire arrow. They could even have the fishing mechanic, which shows the number of bait left and how to use it to show the number of arrows left for each skill. They already had that. It did. That's the way it used to be. It did. It, that's the way it used have, to be. You, have, you haven't been around long enough. Yes. Uh, then uh, 
Remember, Green Arrow, a full quiver of surprises with lots of different arrows, and even realistically, sheaf arrows, flight arrows, bodkin arrows, arrows that can fly longer distances but have no armor penetration, etc. for hunting uh, are different than armor-piercing arrows. I like yes. explosive arrows. Yes. Explosive yeah. oh, arrows. Yes. What about ignite weapon? No, that sets your bow on fire. <laughs> Uh, it's not ignite ammunition, it's ignite weapon. Um, yeah, which yeah, is what, we, what, we, what actually... we use for a fire arrow now, which is, yeah, very, very, very realistic in this world. We use ignite weapon and uh, we light our whole bow on fire to make fire arrows here in this world, you know. Shh. Yeah, but don't, don't tell anybody. Trod don't tell anybody. Shroud mouth. Shroud mouth. <laughs> Yeah, ideally it would work as a modifier to all your existing skills and not just basically a mini skill on its own. Yes. Yes. So it is bring back the things from Alpha. Yes, bring back. Because that was that a was better design. More realistic. Well, not only that, because then you actually have to do the crafting potions and crafting of the arrows. And you give a reason for carpenters and alchemists to make the ingredients. Like all those... Do you remember explosion, explosion potions? Oh, yeah. Do, do we even still have those in game? I, I it's been so long. I don't since think we I ever. Do, do we actually have explosion potions in this game? Yes, we did. Yes, we did. They were red, and they also have the very special version of it. Let's see. Called the version. Holy Hand Grenade. Uh, the Holy Hand Grenade is just a visual. It was an explosion potion. Oh, you're right. Okay, you are right. I forgot about that. They actually made a couple of those. Uh, let's see. Holy oh. hand grenade! Yeah, see, see, th this is where it's like being around the game for fucking 10 years. Yes, I have ex 111 explosion potions. I mean, you have in game mechanics for these things. Remember cow tipping? Uh, no, that was not in the game, was it? I don't have them. Let me check my book. If you go up and touch the cow a hundred times, it falls over. Yeah, that was that, that, that was uh Yeah, explosive potion. Yes. Yes. Sulfurish ash. Hey, we we black pearl. We have these things. <clears throat> yes. Anybody ever and used you... them? No. Yeah. Yeah, that that's that's where it's like if you look at the uh yeah, I have used them in anger. They they they, they didn't. So you remember in UO when it, where it's like you had the greater explosion potions that actually would do damage. I, I took a server down but, with explosion potions. If you recall yes. that, recall that story. Yeah, I had a. Uh, yes. this, this is when you could actually set them off in your backpack, and I was making loads and loads of them, and. Uh, putting them, you know, into the backpack, and unfortunately, uh, I had like thousands of them just loaded, and I accidentally set one off. And if you remember in UO, you know, you see how we have the uh, sausages linked here in front of each other. Well, you yes. were able, you were able to line up explosion potions like uh, a cartoon. You you know when you watch like Bugs Bunny or the Roadrunner and Coyote, and they would take yes. the uh, the gunpowder and run run a trail of it, you know, and then they would light it from one end, and it, it would run like a fuse. Well, you could do that with explosion potions, and uh, you know you could throw one to one and start a chain reaction down the line till you got to the big bunch of them to make the big explosion. What the fuck is with your dog? Is your dog in my fucking way here? Move your dog, will you? I don't know what you're talking about. It's not I in your way. It, he is. I can't sit in my chair because mm. he's in my way. No. You move I your dog. There you go. Yeah, thank you. He, he was in the way. 
Okay, wasn't well, in the way. Just, just sitting on my on chair. my screen. Now he was he, not in the way on my screen. Now he's yeah. so now he is. Now, now right he's now in the back slap. No, he is being mounted by the automaton currently. Yeah, he is. I see that. But uh, anyway, yeah. yeah, I set off a whole bunch of them to set off a chain reaction that the server couldn't handle, and down came the server. But anyway, Giddy time up, for us to wrap things up. That's right. What, Lomir? It's a giddy up, Tyrion. Yeah. Yes. My nerd needs to walk over and open up a window, and Michael Berg is also getting a streamer bundle from me. Dun, 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 dun. Let's see who's getting my bundles. Congratulations. We've got Andrew Night Owl and Lomir Adain, both here on the lot. So, boys, come get your bundles. Oh, yes. Then, let's see who's getting a Steam key from me. That's going to be Tina, who's getting a copy of Thank Monster you. Train. Monster Train. Thanks, Jack. Wow, that's two today. Wow. Oh, and someone actually wes messaged me on Steam. Hello there. I'm surprised it's still there. Shroud is still there. Did they add a lot of things? The game is still active. Question mark. They message you. To that? Something. Yeah, somebody messaged yeah, you on yeah. Steam. Yeah, why, yes, why, they are. Why, why, why are they message? Oh, okay. That, that makes I, sense. I, I, I don't know. How, how do you message somebody on Steam? Steam you have to have them yeah. as friends. Monster, Monster ah. Train is twenty-five bucks. For okay. Tina. Final giveaway. Peg pets. Congratulations. Yeah, you send them a oh. message. That's how you do it. <laughs> yes. And Heg Pets, let's see what we've got for you today. As we get the mystery game keys out, and he's going to get himself a copy of Heaven Dust. Heaven Dust. And Heaven Dust on Steam. Let's see. Uh, store. Heaven Dust is worth seven ninety nine going out to Heg Pets. Wait. Congratulations. And of course we will return tomorrow for the rest of the week right here. And we'll tell you yeah. about upcoming events then. But till then, I'm Laz. I'm Jack. I'm Omir. And we are NBNN. Have a great day, everybody, and we'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.